What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm my Anthony D. It's been a while, you know, finally back in Ohio. Obviously, this is going to be a little bit of a different video than we normally do here on the channel, but uh, I wanted to do this. I know I've missed the hype already on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre pre-release party. We even got these that we'll, we'll unbox them at the end of the video. Don't worry. Uh, but I wanted to make something for myself and for you guys, the people who truly support with what, what we're doing here. So it'll be fun to have a video like this to look back on in the future because I know this is only the beginning. And even more so, I wanted to say thank you because I, I'm i very well aware that I only have these opportunities and get to do things like this because of you guys. And that's why I knew I had to make something for you guys so I can share this experience with you. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, we were invited to go to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre pre-release party. Um, well, we were a plus one, but we eventually got our own invite, so that's dope. Now, at the time, I didn't really know what to expect, but what it eventually was is it is a, a an area to celebrate the game. You have all the guys from Gun Interactive, you have all the guys from Sumo, and all the talent that's featured in the game. So Kane Hodder, uh, Ed Neal, who played the Hitchhiker, Sean Whalen, who did the uh, mocap for the, the Cook, one of the actual creators of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Kim Hinkle, in the building. They had Scout Taylor Compton and Damian Maffei, who does the voice for Johnny in the game, which that dude is an absolute legend. Seriously, I've met him twice now. And then you mix in content creators from all different platforms that come together and celebrate the Texas Chainsaw Master and all the work that Gun and Sumo have done. It was a really good time. They had some drinks, they had some barbecue. I didn't get to try any of the barbecue or really see it just because there was so much going on, but I wanted to vlog this experience, but I'm too awkward to even be in these situations, let alone pull a camera out. So I didn't get much footage, uh, but you got to be able to play the game. It was like literally, I'm pretty sure it's like 99% a complete build of the game. Like what we see in August, we'll just have some touch-ups, I, I would imagine, because it was super smooth, even though it was on Xbox, but your boy still got an escape. But all this took place in Austin, Texas, and I'm based in Ohio, so your boy had to get on a plane. Made it to the airport. I do actually love to travel, even though I don't do it much because I don't have money. But um, that was my first time traveling alone, so there was a lot there. Uh, I made it in Austin, Texas, ridiculously hot. Like seriously, couldn't even breathe. Luckily, a good friend of mine who is a content creator, Jester, uh, he picked me up and we drove all the way out to the gas station, which was really, really cool. So many cool things to see there. The gas station itself was actually really cool, but they ended up having a replica van in the back of the gas station. And this is like the second one we saw, but this one was pretty dope, even though there was a spider that tried to eat me. That's Austin, Texas, bro, is heat and spiders. No, thank you, I'll stay in Ohio. That's a big ass spider. Do you see that? Yeah, that's real too. Get the, well, yeah. Boy, touch it. I dare you to touch it. But adding that to the trip was really awesome. I wanted to go to the family house, but it was just too far away. We had to start heading to the event, which that in itself was really cool. Getting to see so many different content creators, uh, running into the people from Gun. I actually got to meet Wes Keltner, which is like crazy for me. Uh, and he was so kind and cool. Everyone here was ridiculously the nicest people I've ever met in my life. It's, it's, it's crazy. They had a replica of the family house actually built, like not full size, but you could walk into it and had like the living room, the front porch. They had different nuggets and cages everywhere. Oh, shit. It does move. <laughs> it was actually really well done. And the couple who made that house was really cool. The way that they had this whole thing set up was really cool because they had all the different celebrities like Kane and stuff just walking around so that you could talk to them and hang out with them. And, and it was it was super casual. Like, But this one, the one here, this one's way cooler than the one at the gas station. Yeah. <laughs> this is clean. 1974 Texas Chainsaw Master Tribute Replica. Oh, so it's a replica. 
It wasn't like something you would see at a horror convention. It was just hanging out with them in a room. So you got to have, you got to be able to speak to them and, and, and talk to them like they were just normal people. And then they had the game station set up as well. So you got to play the game and it was just overall like a very humbling experience that got me even more motivated and, and inspired to make content more than ever. Just to, to touch that reality is, is something cool. Like I get to leave Anthony at home and go be I Anthony D for like just a day. Just ch what we've been chasing. It's it's cool to be able to realize that in real life. It's the second time that's happened to me and it, it, it just means a lot. They were handing these out, these like little like goodie bags, which we'll get into. Huge shout out to Jester and his wife for uh, shipping these to me because I couldn't bring them on the plane. As you can see, it's a milk carton of our boy Nugget. He's missing. I don't know where he is. If you can see him and find him, please tell him I miss him and love him. These were done by Xbox, which is pretty cool. It came with some Xbox Game Pass codes, which I'll just throw in the Discord because I don't use uh, Xbox Game Pass, but pretty dope. Let's get into the side of dude. Bro, Nugget is only five pounds. Let's open the giant milk carton and see what's inside. So the first thing that they give you, which is actually really cool, is Nugget. You get to have Nugget and he gets to, let me see if I, maybe I, I do it back here. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but he makes sounds. He's pretty dope. He's going to go on the shelf behind us. You get a little cup holder thing with some dope pins. You got one of a chainsaw, which is pretty dope. And you get one of Leatherface's face, which is pretty dope. Giving me another shirt. Got even more Texas Chainsaw Massacre merch, which I, I have more Texas Chainsaw Massacre merch than I do of my own merch. It's getting crazy. I'm not complaining. You know, send it all my way. I need it, please. This is dope. I want this in a full size poster, please. But it's the family hanging out and you get their signatures on the back, which is pretty clean. Like, hey, I, I love it, dude. I love it. And to top it all off, you get your little bag, bro. Little TCM bag. Carry the groceries in. Listen, we got to be somebody. Hey, okay? we going to cool events, getting cool stuff. We got to be building something here is all I'm saying. There you have it. That is my trip to the Texas Chainsaw Master pre-release party. Um, as far as gameplay and things like that go, uh, there's a lot to look forward to truly. The game was like so much smoother. I was playing on the Xbox, which I don't play on Xbox. I play on PC, but the game was really, really smooth. It felt so much better than it did in the tech test and it felt amazing in the tech test. Uh, you had different times of day for the, for the different maps, which I know people have covered on and all that stuff, but uh, I'm really excited for it. I got to play the night maps. The night maps look amazing and feel amazing. I think it's going to change the gameplay up a lot. I got to meet so many cool creators. Uh, shout out to Slash and Cast, Jester, and the boy Dave. All of you guys were really kind and nice to me, and it was awesome to see you guys. I hope I get to see you guys many more times. All I can say is that this game has a really bright future, and I could not be more excited. And we, the community, we have a really bright future as well. And it's just good times, man. I just want to truly let you guys know that I'm thankful for all the support you guys give me. Huge thanks to Gun, Sumo, uh, Evolve for inviting me out here. And uh, all the people that I met, thank you so much. It was awesome. It was an experience that I'll never forget. And uh, that's all I have for you. You know the rules to survive. Till then, don't do drugs. Don't have sets. Oh yeah, don't die.